Amen. Just want to thank and praise the good Lord just for his opportunity, you know, one more time, Brother Kenneth, to, to just to come and to be in his house and, you know, and dwell and be in his presence, Brother Kenneth. And, you know, a person can come and he can worship the Lord anywhere. And, but, you know, they, they, there's nothing like coming and being in his house, Brother Kenneth. And, you know, I'm truly thankful, you know, for for what God is doing, Brother Kenneth. And, and amen, it's been a kind of rough and sad week. But, but amen, I know God, he's still in control, Brother Kenneth. And, and amen, things happen for a reason and a purpose. And, you know, sometimes we may not understand it, Brother Kenneth. And, but amen, God has got it. And, and like I said, he's in control. And, and amen, I'm not real sure how this is going to go tonight. But amen, just like that song they just sung, Brother Kenneth. And amen, I feel amen here tonight, amen, that God is in the midst of this little place, Brother Kenneth. And, and amen, I was sitting back there and, you know, I just felt the presence of the Lord, Brother Kenneth, from the very time I walked in and and things and you know, my wife was sitting there and said, "You all right?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll be. I'm all right, brother, brother Kenneth." But Amen. You just feel the Lord, Amen, in this place tonight, and and I'm very strong, brother Kenneth, and and Amen. I mean, it's like kind of like Jeremiah said, you know, it's like fire shut up in her bones, brother Kenneth, and and Amen, and 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 it's just up to us, brother Kenneth, to just let him out, and and Amen, and you know, when I was talking to the Lord, brother Kenneth, and you know, and prayed and asked, you know, what he would have, and, and, amen, and I believe if there ever was a time, Brother Kenneth, amen, that, that night's approaching, amen, it's this day and hour which we live, yeah. Brother Kenneth, and, and amen, and, uh, with the help of the Lord, I'll be in a very familiar passage of Scripture tonight, and, and amen, and I've been in this passage of Scripture many a time, Brother Kenneth, and, and amen, and, with the help of the Lord tonight, we're going to be in the book of John, chapter 9, and, and amen. It, it talks about a man born blind, Brother Kenneth, and, and amen, as I was talking to the Lord and things, and, you know, he, he just pretty much told me, Brother Kenneth, you know, to just to, to read the whole chapter, and and he laid a few little things on my heart, and, and like I said, I just want to go his way, Brother Kenneth, and and, and it, truly, if you listen, amen, to, in the book of John chapter 9, there is a whole lot that takes place and a lot in it, but but amen. With help of the Lord tonight, the book of John chapter 9, I'm just going to start here at verse 1 and, and you know, kind of read the whole chapter, and then with help of the Lord, we'll just go with what he would have tonight. But, but amen. And it says, in, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? this man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Verse number four it says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had Thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is interpreted sin. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and he came seeing. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before him seen him, that he was blind, said, Is not this? He that sat and begged, some said, This is he, and others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were there thine eyes open? He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. <coughs> and they brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. And he said unto them, 
He put clay upon my eyes, and I washed and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can he, can man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was division among them. And they said unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him that he hath opened thine eyes? He said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called his parents of him that had received his sight. And they asked them, saying, Is this your son, whom ye say was born blind? How then doth he now see? His parents answered them and said, We know not. We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But what means he now seeth, we know not, or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, asked him, and he shall speak for himself. These words spake his parents, because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had all had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was the Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore said his parents, He is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind, and said unto him, Give God praise. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, and now I see. Then said they to him again, What did he to thee? How opened uh, he thine eyes? He answered to them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore will ye hear it again? Will ye also be his disciple? Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses, as for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. The man answered and said unto them, Why, herein is a marvelous thing that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened mine eyes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper, worshiper of God, and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? <coughs> if this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, That was altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Doest thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment I came into this to this world that they which see not might see and that they which see might be made blind and some of the pharisees was with which were with him heard these words and said unto him are we blind also and jesus said unto him if you were blind you should have no sin but now you say we see therefore your sin remaineth you know, just for a few moments tonight, amen, Brother Kenneth, as, as I begin to read that, amen, today, and I read it, you know, a few times and things, and, and amen, you know, you know, you see the conversation right here, amen, about the disciples, amen, and they ask pretty much, they ask Jesus a question, Brother Kenneth, and amen, right off the bat, amen, and because, they, you know, Jesus saw that blind man laying there, and amen, and, and the disciples begin to communicate back and forth, amen, and, and amen, they ask a question. And amen. Who did sin, him or his parents? And, and amen. And I begin to think right here in just a few moments, Brother Kenneth. And amen. 
man, how Jesus, amen, answered that question, amen. And, and amen, you know, Jesus answered and said, neither had this man sinned, amen, nor his parents, amen, but that the glory and the works of God, amen, be made manifest. And, and amen, I begin to think about that, Brother Kenneth, but many times, Brother Kenneth, if we're not careful, amen, we'll see somebody, amen, that may be sick or lame, and amen, we'll be just like the disciples, Brother Kenneth, amen, we'll begin to think, amen, wonder what great sin they done, Brother Kenneth, amen, to deserve this or that, but amen, Jesus kind of spoke it like this, amen, amen, it, and the disciples, amen, I believe they, they got a hold of it, Brother Kenneth, amen, but I look at it like this, amen, in this day and hour which we live, Brother Kenneth, amen, I believe, amen, there's many out there, Brother Kenneth, amen, waiting on me, amen, might be waiting on you, Brother Kenneth, amen, that somewhere by the wayside, Brother Matthew, amen, they may be blind just like this man, or amen, they may be sick or in need or anything, Brother Kenneth, but amen, just waiting, amen, for the glory and the manifest manifestation of God to begin to take place in them, but amen, but too many times, Brother Matthew, maybe the enemy, amen, wants to get me sidetracked, Brother Kenneth, and amen, and if I'm not very careful, amen, I'll pass them right on by, but amen, I believe if there ever was a time, amen, that amen, that Jesus is pretty much telling them, amen, there's no time, Brother Kenneth, amen, to stand, amen, and debate, amen, Brother Matthew, on who sinned, amen, or what he done, but amen, if there ever was a time, amen, like Jesus told them, amen, to work while it's day because night's coming, and amen, and then there's no man going to be able to work, Brother Matthew, amen, in other words, amen, Jesus took, amen, his ministry and his walk serious, amen, many times, Brother James, Jesus told them, amen, I must be about my father's business, amen, and here, amen, Jesus knew, amen, he had but a short time to work, Brother Kenneth, amen, and Jesus told them, Amen. As long as he was in the world, amen, he was the light of that world. But amen, there was going to come a time, Sister Amy, amen, that he was going to be taken up, Brother Kenneth. And amen, when he was taken up, amen, and, and I believe at the day of Pentecost, Brother Kenneth, amen, we became that great light, amen. And, and even in the Word, it says, ye are the light of the world. Amen. I believe if there ever was a time, amen, Brother Kenneth. Kenneth, amen, we must be about the Father's business, amen, it's this day and hour, amen, because like Jesus told them here, Brother Kenneth, amen, when night cometh, amen, no man, amen's going to be able to work, amen, and Brother Kenneth, amen, was talking before service, amen, according to the Word of God, amen, a thousand years, amen, is one day, and one, th one day is a thousand years, amen, with God, and amen, and, and you, you kind of cut that timetable down, amen, and for instance, amen, and in average lifespan, Brother Kenneth, amen, that one day, amen, say, Brother Steve, amen, that God gives you and I one day, amen, we can break that up, amen, as like in morning, maybe Brother Kenneth, maybe 20 years, amen, but then there comes a time, Sister Nikki, amen, that it may be noontime, amen, and another 20 years, maybe now that I'm 40, Brother Kenneth, and amen, the Bible, amen, and then there's another 20 years, maybe, Brother Kenneth, amen, that represents, amen, the evening time, but amen, but there's coming a time, Brother Kenneth, at night, amen, Amen is going to fall. And amen. I begin to think about Brother Kenneth. Amen. If we're not careful, amen. Amen. Why Jesus told him we must work the works. Amen. Wild is day. Amen. And how many knows, amen, and especially this past little while, Brother Kenneth. Amen. If we're not very careful, amen, the day is done gone. And amen. I begin to think and to kind of break that up a little bit. Amen. As the Lord was, I was talking to the Lord today and and too many times, 
Brother Kenneth of a morning time, amen, will say, well, I've got all day, amen, Brother Matthew, I can do this, and amen, but before we know it, Brother Kenneth, amen, it's noontime, and amen, and you begin to think, well, I got this afternoon, amen, maybe, you know, I can do what God would have me to do this afternoon, but amen, before long, Brother Matthew, noon is done there, and amen, before we know it, amen, night is upon us, Brother Kenneth, and amen, and, and everything that God would want us to do, Brother Kenneth, amen, if we've not careful, amen, the day is done slipped away, and amen, we begin to stand and look back, and amen, we begin to wonder where time has gone, and amen, and the work, amen, that God has you to do, amen, is done passed by, amen, and you done let it slipped away, but amen, I believe if there ever was a time, amen, to redeem the time, amen, it's now. Amen. Too much time has gone, gone past, Brother Kenneth. Amen. And, and too much water under the bridge, you say. Amen. But, and, and I believe now, amen, is the time to work. Amen. Because I believe time is short, Brother Kenneth. Amen. Things are already happening, amen, around the world and in the Middle East. Amen. All you got to do is just stop and look. Hey man, at things that's going on, and and hey man, and you know I don't want to be like the Sadducees and the Pharisees, brother Kenneth. You see, they, they thought they automatically had a right, brother Kenneth. Hey man, to you know the the things of God, but amen, they failed to realize, Brother Kenneth, amen, that they needed to save your amen, in other words, and amen, Jesus simply told them, and, and I believe the Lord come, amen, you know, just like the Jews and things, they, they thought, amen, that they were entitled, amen, in other words, to the things of God, but amen, here Jesus told them, amen, I've come, amen, in other words, amen, to open spiritual eyes of some, but amen, there's some, amen, that think they can see, but amen, truly they see not, Brother Kenneth. Amen, I don't want to fall under that category, Brother Kenneth. Amen, thinking and I'm all right, Brother Josh, but in the end, amen, I'm truly blinded. Amen, but I want to be, amen, I just like this blind man, Brother Kenneth. Amen, that came, Brother Josh, amen, to the realization, amen. He told him, I, know, I don't know who, healed my eyes. All I know was his name was Jesus. But amen, he told the Sadducees and the Pharisees, amen, and the rulers, he said, I've done told you, amen, and I said, if you're not going to hear, amen, you're not going to hear it again, amen, in other words, amen, he said, one thing I do know, though, once I was blind, Brother Josh, but now I can see, amen, I don't know how it happened, but amen, this man, amen, they can, his name Jesus, amen, all I know, he came by my way. Amen. And now I can see. Amen. Amen. We must recognize Brother Kenneth. Amen. Each and every one, Brother Kenneth, under the sound of my voice tonight. Amen. At one time or another, we were like that blind man. Amen. But too many times, amen, if we're not careful, amen, we'll, we'll think, amen, well, I don't know that. Amen. Just like these Sadducees and things here, Brother Kenneth and the Pharisees. Amen. They, they kind of looked at it, amen, kind of in a worldly sense. Amen. How can this be? Amen. That, that, Sister Tina, there was never, amen, anybody born blind. Amen. And their eyes opened. And amen. And all of a sudden it began to happen and take place. Amen. You see, amen, if we're not careful, amen, we can get our eyes, amen, on things out there. And amen. And fail to see, amen, the glory and the power of God. Amen. Amen, that's going on in the house. Amen. And, but too many times, that the enemy don't want you to get a hold and see that, that kind of power. Amen. Amen, you see right here. Amen, they were one. Amen, that realized, Brother Kenneth. Amen, and knew. Amen, I don't know what took place. Oh, I know, Brother Josh, I was once blind, but now I can see. Amen. And the man was named Jesus. 
Hey, man, but you know, Jesus goes a little farther. Hey, man. Hey, man, you know, they, they kicked him out. The young man, he got kicked out there, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, because they didn't want to hear the truth. Hey, man, he simply told them the truth. You know, I told you once. Hey, man, if you're not going to hear me once, hey, man, I ain't going to repeat it in other words. Hey, man, and, and I began to think about that. Hey, man, after they kicked him out and things. And, hey, man, Jesus went and found him, Brother Kenneth. And, hey, man, and, and I understand many different ways, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, Jesus could just spoke a word. Hey, man, to that blind man, and he would have been healed. Hey, man, he could told him to do anything or whatever. Hey, man, and it would have been done. Hey, but, hey, man, in this instance, hey, man, he made that spit on the ground. Hey, man, and made that clay and rubbed in his eyes and told him to go and wash. Hey, man, to see if he'd obey and do. Hey, man, exactly what Jesus told him to do. Hey, man, the blind man didn't have a clue who he was. Hey, man, but later on, hey, man, toward the end of the story, Brother Kenneth, hey, man, he got a hold, hey, man, of who Jesus is and who he was. Hey, man, he got that relationship, hey, man. Hey, man, right and standing there, hey, man, and Jesus asked him, hey, man, about him and things. And, and hey, man, the blind man says, who, who is he? Hey, man, that I may believe. And he told him, you've done seen. Hey, man, and I am he, hey, man, that's standing here. Hey, man, talking with thee. Hey, man, and a blind man believed. Hey, man, and he began to worship him. Hey, man, he could see through those new eyes, Brother Kenneth. But, hey, man, he not only, hey, man, received, hey, man, the healing, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, but he believed, hey, man, on who the Father had sent. Hey, man, and he, I believe, Brother Kenneth, hey, man, he wasn't only healed, but, hey, man, he was saved and set free. Hey, man, no longer sitting in that darkness. Hey, man. Just like that, amen, I, I often tell people, amen, God can do more in a blinking of an eye, Brother Kenneth, amen, that I can do in a lifetime, Brother Josh. But amen, too many times, Brother Kenneth, amen, we want to make that decision to sit in that darkness. Amen, but I can encourage you tonight, amen, you can come out of that darkness. Amen, you don't no longer have to sit, amen, as that blind man sit, amen, but you can come out, amen, of that darkness, amen, if you just believe, amen, and take that first step, amen, and obey his voice, amen, and do what he would have you to do. Amen, you see, there were many there. Hey man, there in the synagogue and things, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, and Jesus healed that little blind boy, that blind man. Hey man, I even go as far, hey man, the blind man may not have known it, but hey man, I believe he was sent. Hey man, and they begin to question him, Josh. Hey man, how did this take place? Who done this? How did this happen? This has never in history happened before. Amen. But I believe, amen, even that blind man was in there. Amen. And you can read it there. Amen. Every question they asked, they, he told them the truth. Amen. But they didn't look at it. Amen. Through the spiritual eyes, Brother Kenneth. They were looking at it through worldly, worldly eyes and things and said, this cannot be. Hey man, but I believe, hey man, in this day and hour which we live, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, there's many blinded eyes out there. Hey man, that God is wanting to open. But hey man, it's up to you, hey man, to make that step. Hey man, and I believe, hey man, there, there's going to be, hey man, a time, hey man, that night is going to fall. Hey man. And amen, and according to the word of God, amen, when night does come, amen, no man's going to be able to work. Amen. Our work will be done then, Brother Kenneth. Amen, and what we have, amen, is what we're going to have. 
Hey, man, like in the story of the five wise and the five foolish, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, the Bible said that they all slept and slumbered, Brother Josh. Hey, man, they all were doing the same thing. Hey, man, the five wise, hey, man, they had enough oil, hey, man, to endure and to store. Hey, man, until the bridegroom cometh. Hey, man, the five wise thought they had enough. You see, they done everything they know to do, Brother Kenneth. They rose up, the Bible says, and they trimmed their lamps. And, hey, man, done everything they're supposed to do except one thing, and that was to store that oil, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, until the bridegroom cometh. Hey, man, i like to encourage you tonight. Hey, man, you don't have to sit in darkness. Hey, man, but you can have that experience and have that oil stored. Hey, man, because there was a time, Brother Kenneth, and hey, man, the, the Bible says that midnight that cry was made. Hey, man, there's going to come a time, Brother Kenneth, that that cry is going to be made. But, hey, man, it's up to you. It's up to me, hey amen, where you stand at that time. Hey amen. But, but I'd like to encourage you tonight. Hey amen. you don't have to sit in that darkness any longer. Hey amen. the Lord has sat here many a time, Brother Kenneth. Hey amen. he sit, sits before us that open door. Hey amen. he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Hey amen. all he wants to do is just come in and Take up a bold inside of you and have that personal relationship with you. Hey, man, it's not hard. It's not complicated. Hey, man, what makes it complicated is when you want to kick against it. That's the only reason it's complicated. But, hey, man, if you're here tonight, hey, man, you don't know the Lord. He's just a prayer way. Hey, man, for I've said many a time, and the Word of God says to call upon Him while He is near. Hey, man, to seek him while he may be found. Hey, man, because there's going to come a time, Brother Kenneth, hey, man, that that, that conviction power, hey, man, is going to be lifted. Hey, man, and, and from the signs and the times we're living in, Brother Kenneth, it's not going to be very long. But, hey, man, and don't let the enemy convince you you've got all the time in the world. Hey, man, just like Jesus was convinced, telling the disciples, I must work while it's day. Hey, man, and he told them that over 2,000 years ago, Brother Kenneth, and warned the disciples about night coming. Hey, man, then. Hey, man, how close is it now? How close is it now? Hey, man, I believe we're approaching that midnight hour, Brother Kenneth. And hey, man, I'd like to encourage you tonight. If you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord, hey, man, he's just a prayer away. Hey, man, I'd like to encourage you to call upon him while he's near. Hey, man, because we're not promised tomorrow, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, just kind of like I demonstrated there a little bit. Hey, man, some of us may be given one day. And, hey, man, some of us may be given a half day. Hey, man, we're not promised tomorrow. Hey, man, and... October is a rough month for me, Brother Josh, you know. Hey, man, and this past week hadn't been any easier, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, and my wife's little brother, hey, man, passed away. Hey, man, at the age of 45 years old. Hey, man, two, two years ago, hey, man, to the date, Brother Josh, I lost my first grandbaby to the date. Hey, man, we're not promised tomorrow. And hey, man, two years ago to the day, lost my baby brother to the exact date, Brother Kenneth. And, and Brother Steve, I found myself standing in a place I didn't want to be standing, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, at Clark County Hospital in room 505 in ICU. Hey, man, talking to my wife's and, hey, man, they had her in there. And two years ago to the exact day, Brother Steve, same room, my little brother passed, my, passed away in. You see, the Word tells us that life is just like a vapor. Hey, man, we're here today and we're gone tomorrow, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, I can encourage you tonight, hey, man.
You've sat in darkness long enough. You don't have to any longer sit in that darkness. But amen, you can rise up out of that darkness, Brother Kenneth. And amen, I begin to see, Brother Kenneth, through those spiritual eyes. Amen, as that blind man begin to see. Hey man, but it's your choice tonight. It's your choice. Hey man, won't you come to him tonight? Because there's, like I said, there's going to come a cutoff point. Hey man, there's a song, Brother Kenneth, I listen to from time to time. Hey man, and it says, don't let that. Don't cross that mercy line, Brother Kenneth. And amen, only the good Lord knows, amen, where it's at. But amen, if the Lord's touching your heart tonight, amen, I like to encourage you to take that first step, that step of faith, and go toward Him. Amen, the enemy likes to tell you and convince you, you got to get this out of your life, you got to get that out of your life. You can't get anything out of your life. Amen. It takes Jesus and that precious blood applied, and he does the changing. And he'll do the changing tonight in you if you'll let him. But amen, I can encourage you. Call upon him while he is near. Amen. Seek him while he may be found. Amen. Come to him. Amen. While that knock, amen, upon your heart. Amen. And don't turn him away. Please don't turn him away tonight if, if he's knocking on that heart's door. Amen. If we all would, we'll find us a place to pray tonight.